I've seen it in the basement in photo engineering for years. I asked about using it. I went, oh, you know what, I can see how this could work. We could work with predators with this. We're gonna go try to see these cubs and use the remote car because they're hanging around the road and this one uh, dry riverbed area that we could run the car down. I felt that this would be an opportunity to uh, get different pictures, you know. You put a regular 35 millimeter camera. I asked to be able to have solenoids in the back to push certain buttons that needed to be pushed. I can't tell if it's taking a picture or not. I'm hitting it. It's not responding properly. Drew, bring it back here. We need to get this working, man. It's only pan in the other direction. I don't know if it's set right. So set it on easy. Hold it. Don't let her lick it. <laughs> I did not want her to lick it, because it's not like you can get out and go pick it up and clean the lens off. <laughs> but we got some interesting pictures before the batteries blew up and blew the whole thing up. But it's always trying to find a way to interest everybody in tigers again. Look at it. She's like, what is this thing? It doesn't smell like worth eating. Look at that huge paw. Wow. Look at him. <laughs> it's like, huh? It got to the point that it was like, I don't want to mess with you. I really like this one. It's like, and here's the picture the camera got. <laughs> so that was cool.